Okay guys, in this tutorial, how do you get access to your PC? So the forgotten password for your Microsoft account. Let's say you have logged in your PC with a Microsoft account. You have forgotten the password for your account. And now you have to get access to the content in your PC. So a couple of ways you can follow in order to get access to your PC now. The first easy way, is, uh, you just have to visit the web. It's uh, account.live.com slash password slash reset. Enter your email address and try to recover your password following this. So the same instruction even over here. You just have to visit the web account.live.com slash password slash reset and then you can reset your password. So another easy way is uh, in this way if you do not get uh, the password it's difficult to uh, reset or recover your password following this method. The another easy way is uh, you need a bootable DVD or you just need a bootable pen drive so if you do not have one you can follow the link in the video description how to create a bootable USB flash drive and even DVD works if you have a bootable DVD you can just use your bootable DVD so just insert it into your PC and boot from your CD or a DVD or a pen drive now we boot from the CD when you boot from the CD you will get this click on next and then here you have repair your computer just click on this repair your computer and then after you get this screen click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced option now you're gonna choose system image recovery so cancel it click on next now you're gonna choose advance and then click on install a driver click on ok and now here you have a lots of options you're gonna choose this PC inside this PC you have a lots of options over here you can see here you have a couple of options so here you have a boot x so other than boot x you gotta choose uh, here is a boot x and you have a system files over here in the boot x so you have to choose the drive other than boot x so do not choose boot x or leave the boot x other than boot x uh, whatever drive you have so you check uh, in which drive you have you got a system file whether in c d or e so do not even choose your c d the or dvd rom or a pen drive so choose other than boot x and other than your dvd rom or a pen drive so other than my pen drive dvd rom and boot x there is a d drive where i got a system file so get inside d drive and maybe your one is in a different one so check where you have the system file so be careful do not choose boot x do not choose your pen drive or a dvd that you are using other than that you can check anywhere where you have a system file whether in D, E, F in whichever drive so once you get access to that uh, you just have to get inside the program files sorry guys it's uh, not a program files it's a windows so get inside windows inside windows somewhere you'll find system 32 so tap letter yes in your keyboard and you can see it's a system 32 so get inside system 32 inside system 32 you're gonna find somewhere magnify so you're gonna tap letter M in your keyboard and just keep on tapping and here's the magnify so make a note of spelling, a spelling you should make a note of spelling correctly I'm just going to rename it to magnify 1 and I'm just going to copy it so I'm just going to copy only magnify and rename it to the magnify 1 press enter key now just uh, refresh it and again type letter M and see if it is renamed properly you can see it's a uh, magnify one now you wanna tap C for CMD so somewhere there must be CMD Okay guys, here it is. It's a CMD. 
so just rename it to magnify so I have been renamed magnify to magnify 1 and cm2 to magnify press enter key refresh it and now press letter M you can see magnify and magnify 1 now again uh, after doing every stuff come back to the same place and make it as it is uh, once you have access to your PC so for a time being uh, it's, it is like this now you just click on close it click on ok ok guys uh, cancel it and just close it now just uh, restart your PC and this time you'll go in the login screen will not put from CD or a DVD or a pen drive so try to login into your PC now so now once you get this login screen you do not have a password so you just click on this uh, you can see this icon at the bottom right click on this icon now you're gonna click on this magnifier this will open the command prompt so we did uh, this uh, changes just to open the command prompt so you're gonna type the command net user and press enter key so here you have a mk and administrator account so when you try to reset the password you will get the error message like the system is not uh, something like authoritative for a specified account so what you guys gonna do in order to access your PC just create a, another administrator account and through that you can access your PC and you'll have access to all the content in your PC you can access all the drive so let me show you how do you create another administrator account and access your PC so just type a simple command it's a net user space and I'm just going to give a name something like MIC to my account name it's a MIC so my new user slash add so make sure you type properly slash add and press enter key so you can see guys uh, the command completed successfully so you're gonna type one more command it's a local group once you type the local group you're gonna type administrator make sure you type the spelling correctly it's a local group administrator and then after you're gonna type the username so one that you have used uh, so I'm going to use the new user it's uh, Mike and then after space slash add so now it will be given the administrator permission click on next so you can see okay guys uh, a small mistake so it's uh, something missing over here is net so you're gonna type net space local group administrator and you use a name and add and press enter key so are you getting some kinds of error this is part local group does not exist so try one more time so net local group administrators mic so your username and add so s was missing so make sure you type all the spelling correctly i was missing yes so it should be administrators and click on enter now let me see if I added you can see the command completed successfully so both the command completed successfully so do not do such kinds of small small mistake small 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 mistakes uh, can cause error so two commands that you need to type so this is the first command net user uh, slash uh, mic your username and add and this is the next command
that you need to type all the spelling correctly and then click on add and finally you get uh, the message that uh, the command completed successfully now what you guys gonna do you just have to close it so just uh, restart your PC and then you're gonna see here I have a couple of options it's a uh, one is the text solution that uh, text soul that I have uh, uh, it's a Microsoft account and one that I have created right now MIC click on sign in and it's just gonna take some time and you have access to your PC and content okay guys finally now you have access to your PC and all the content in a PC so here is your C drive, D drive, everything that you have uh, you can just get access to so if you like this tutorial be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment i'll catch you in the next tutorial with another great stuff and check the video description for more stuff have a good day